question here which is not used for thyroid scan iodine 131 iodine 123 iodine 125 or technetium 99m please remember for thyroid scan the preferred isotope is iodine 123 for functional scans of thyroid gland is what the iodine 123 is a preferred agent iodine 131 can also be used to look at thyroid scans especially for thyroid cancer imaging so this can also be used for thyroid cancer imaging right thyroid cancer imaging and even technetium 99m per tectinate scan technetium 99m per tectinate scan can be done to look at thyroid gland so even this can be used for thyroid imaging for thyroid scanning especially in india where iodine 123 is not easily available technetium 99m is very easily available so we use thyroid scan technetium 99m also you know we use it especially in pediatric population for pediatric thyroid scanning we generally go for technetium 99m per tectinate scan we do not use iodine 125 for thyroid scanning so what are the isotopes used for thyroid scan iodine 123 iodine 131 and technetium 99m per tectinate scan so let's compare these isotopes which are used in thyroid scan so please remember thyroid scan we can use iodine 123 iodine 131 or a technetium 99m iodine 123 it has a half life of about 13 hours 13 hours iodine 131 has a half life of 8 days technetium 99m we all know it has a half life of about 6 hours Iodine 123 is a gamma emitter. It produces gamma rays. Iodine 131 produces high energy beta rays and gamma rays and the gamma rays that are emitted by Iodine 131 are of high energy. Technetium 99M, it produces gamma rays in the range of about 140-143 kilo electron volts. So Technetium 99M produces gamma rays but these are of generally low energy iodine 123 and iodine 131 that are used in thyroid scanning are used by oral route but technetium 99m is given by an injectable route so iodine 123 as well as iodine 131 are given orally for thyroid scanning but technetium 99m is given by intravenous route iodine 123 it is the preferred one for thyroid scan it does not produce beta rays it does not cause thyroid stunning right so iodine 123 and it has a long shorter half life compared to the iodine 131 so it is preferred for thyroid scanning especially for adult functional thyroid scans adult thyroid scans right like for graves disease hashimoto's okay we use this iodine 123 as a preferred agent because no emission of beta rays and also less energy of the gamma rays. Iodine 131 because it produces beta rays and these beta rays are effective in killing thyroid cancer cells after being uptaken into the thyroid gland, the iodine 131 produces beta rays which kills the thyroid cancers. And that is the reason iodine 131 is used for thyroid cancer imaging, especially because of its long half-life, right? In thyroid cancer imaging, it is useful to image the patient after therapy, post therapy also. We give iodine 131. After 48 uh, hours, we can image to know where are the areas of the metastasis of the cancer. And again, after seven days, we can again evaluate how to, what is the status of these thyroid metastasis and all. So this iodine 131, because it treats thyroid cancer cells, right? It, is, it produces beta rays, can be used for thyroid cancer imaging. And because of the half-life of eight days, we can use it even at the end of seventh day after injection to see the status of the thyroid cancer metastasis. So iodine 131 for thyroid cancer imaging. Technetium 99M, this produces the lowest energy of gamma rays, much less than iodine 123 as well as iodine 131. And that is the reason technetium 99M is preferred for pediatric thyroid imaging. For pediatric thyroid imaging. Right? And also technetium 99M is more cheaper and easily available compared to iodine 123. So it is more easily and readily available, right? So in countries like India, if it is difficult 
to get iodine-123, we generally go for technetium-9 nm per technetic scan to look at the thyroid scanning. So please understand that thyroid scans can be done by using iodine-123, iodine-131 or technetium-9 nm. Iodine-123 is the preferred agent for adult thyroid scanning. Iodine-131 because of its property of producing beta rays and gamma rays and high energy gamma rays, this is mainly used for evaluating thyroid cancers, right? And uh, also, technetium 9 nm produces low energy gamma rays and that is the reason it is preferred in pediatric thyroid scanning. And technetium 9 nm because it is easily available also, technetium 9 nm per technate scan is done in places where iodine-123 is not easily available to evaluate thyroid glands. So this is about your thyroid scan isotopes.